Hey everybody, Brett here at Pure Pursuit. We just got in this beautiful 2014 Cayman. Uh, getting ready to do the exterior walk around features on this vehicle. So make sure that if you're only catching this portion of the video, check out the interior features and the test drive as well. All right, hopping in under the front hood here. You can see there's plenty of storage up front. Stepping back and looking down a little bit, you can see the intake gills on both sides for cooling and then headlights with the washers. Moving around to the side, we've got the uh, boxer wheels with the black Porsche labeled calipers. Take a quick glance inside. It's a blue on tan vehicle. If you're only catching this portion of the video, make sure to check out the interior features as well as the test drive. And the back wheel, again, uh, Porsche Boxster, 18 inch wheels. It is an option for the Cayman to have these wheels. And so that's the setup that this one came from the factory with. Uh, moving to the trunk area, uh, being mid-engine underneath is where the engine is going to be, but you have additional storage here. And there's a uh, storage compartment cover so that whenever the deck lid is down, anything you have in the trunk area is hidden. Uh, we've got the dynamic spoiler up right now. Uh, LED tail lights moving down to the rear center exhaust finisher. Uh, this vehicle is actually warmed up right now, so I'm going to go ahead and hop inside, start it, and let you guys have a, a quick sound clip for what it sounds like. into the vehicle we've got the memory seats uh, both seats in this vehicle are power uh, seats auto headlights traditional uh, washers turn signals uh, cruise control on the right side on the back of the steering wheel we do have a uh, selector stock that will change the output in the right gauge here uh, right now we've got it on the vehicle settings uh, we can switch to the audio phone for Bluetooth, the map setting, as well as the navigation and trip meter, uh, in, as well as TPMS as well. Um, and back to the vehicle settings. Uh, on some of these, there are uh, additional toggles. Let's see. Um, there we go. For navigation, you've got uh, destination input and start route guidance, uh, manual zoom, auto zoom, 3D map, or north up. All right, so you've got a big tachometer in the middle. Right now I've got the parking brake on, so that light is illuminated. Also the auto start stop. Moving on to the center screen, right now we've got it on the tuner setting, so you can see the FM band is currently uh, selected. Uh, we can change between the sources AM, FM, satellite, uh, CD, uh, jukebox, and auxiliary input. Um, media is currently empty, but you can uh, save to this uh, SD card or you can select the auxiliary input which is inside the glove compartment as well as a 12 volt outlet. Um, sound settings you can change uh, those for the different options uh, inside tuner it's currently set at uh, one setting and then if you go to the different sources uh, you can notice that each source can have its own distinct uh, presets. I'll put it back to FM. 
Uh, Bluetooth telephone, vehicle info, you can turn on traffic messages, location information, details for FM, uh, there are system version in the options. Select car and you can view trip data, uh, there are three different screens for that. We'll go to navigation, enter the address, previous destinations, stored def destinations, points of interest, and the starting route guidance or you can just set it up so that the map is visible at all times. Uh, we've got dual climate control. Right now we've got the driver set to 70 and the passenger set to 72. Uh, heated seats for both driver and the passenger. I'll turn those back off. Uh, like I said earlier, manual six-speed transmission. And then moving down to below that, we've got sport mode, which automatically turns off the auto start-stop traction control. I've turned off the PSM that displays in the right screen up front here and then also the uh, rear dynamic spoiler you can have that set to come up automatically and stay up or uh, whenever you get up to speed it will raise and lower on its own. So let's go ahead and back out and take the parking brake off and we'll get on the road. Okay, so this car does have auto start-stop, so uh, it is a manual transmission. If you happen to stall it, it'll restart for you. Um, and hill start assist, so if you're uh, on a hill and you release the brake, you don't really have to worry about rolling back. Or if you're uh, stopped on a hill facing downward, uh, it won't roll forward. So a uh, nice safety feature there. Um, these are probably some of my favorite cars. I'm a fan of the smaller vehicles that are a little bit more nimble. Uh, they're not necessarily the fastest cars that we ha have in inventory at all times, but uh, they're definitely the most fun, I think. Um, the, uh, the Cayman is extremely easy to drive. The steering is real direct, uh, it rides flat. Um, it's not overly stiff, uh, but it's not going to be a uh, really smooth ride either with the shorter wheelbase and being a smaller car, uh, you do feel a little bit more than you would in some of the larger vehicles that can absorb a lot more of that uh, shock pressure from uh, hitting potholes and stuff like that. But otherwise, it's a great all-around vehicle uh, for the fun factor and uh, ease of use drivability so what we'll do is we'll come up here and we'll turn around and get a uh, quick full throttle run okay so we'll go ahead and put it into sport mode and turn off traction control uh, PSM off in the, the right screen there so we'll go ahead and pull out here super smooth engine it revs up really high fun to drive car and uh, I just love it. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Wankel from the old RX-7s with how it just keeps gaining power just exponentially almost as you get farther up those RPMs. Um, like I said though it's not the fastest car however being a nice small car it is nimble it is quick and it's fun. Um, probably one of the, the top cars on my list as far as fun to drive factor and uh, just overall excitement uh, so if you have any questions about this car please don't hesitate give us a call phone number is 816-659-3027 or you can email us at hello at purepursuitauto.com